Tonight's episode of Horrified is brought to you by Fright Rags, the greatest and most original officially licensed horror apparel and accessories in the world. Go to FrightRags.com and use promo code AIRYSCOPE10 at checkout and save 10% off your entire order. And now, AIRYSCOPE Pictures presents the original series, Horrified. Life in a touring rock band can be incredible. Musicians get to see the world, oftentimes waking up in a different country every day, with an entirely new culture to experience. But as faster pussycat guitarist Ace Von Johnson can attest, it's not all glitz and glam, as sometimes these new experiences can reveal a darker side of the music business that the fans don't get to see. Pussycat's biggest hit may be the 1989 ballad, House of Pain, but tonight Ace shares an entirely different kind of hit with his horrifying tale about the chair of pain. So in all of my years touring, I've seen some interesting things, needless to say. And one of those stories uh, is from a time when I was playing for a legendary punk rock band out of New York City called Murphy's Law. And this was, this was a band that when I met them, they flew me to New York to join. I, I got in a cab in the back seat and I'd never met these individuals before. And the singer is on my right and the drummer's on my left and they're having an argument and the singer's punching the drummer over me, going, hey man, good to meet you, welcome to the, welcome to the band. And I, these are the kind of people I'm dealing with. We were in Japan, we did about a month long run over there. At one point we noticed that these festival dates that we were doing that were organized by this one kid, uh, and I say kid, I mean kid, I mean he was a young guy, he was probably in his early 20s. He seemed to be having issues um, paying us. You know, it was a, a constant, you know, I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for the hamburger today scenario. So, you know, on good faith we played you know, this uh, show after show and, you know, festival and festival. The last day of the tour came around and we were in this backstage area, which was basically like a basement. It was this something out, something out of like an Adam Green film. It was dark and, you know, the vibe was creepy. And I remember this kid sitting in this wicker chair and my singer at the time, Jimmy, you know, we, where's my money, motherfucker? Where's my money? <laughs> this kid's just losing it. He's, he's crying and uh, carrying on in, in Japanese and in, in broken English. I, I can't remember what the, the amount of money he owed us was, but when we were talking, you know, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars or something like that for all these dates and whatnot. And our tour manager was a member of the Yokuza, and he comes over. He says something to him very very stern in Japanese. He said, I know that your parents are these wealthy people and that you signed these contracts to have these rock bands perform and you've defaulted on them. And at which point he says, he pulls out this little cigar cutter, you know, thing you cut off the end of a cigar with and he puts his finger in there. And that's when we all knew it was going crazy. And he says, for every hour that you don't pay the band starting at 6 a.m. when the bank opens, I'm cutting off one of your fingers. The kid immediately soiled himself. My singer came over and some of these other gentlemen from these other acts came over. And he at one point went to stand up to speak with his hands. And, and Jimmy um, punched him so hard that he broke through the wicker chair and collapsed through this chair like 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 a marionette or something it was just it was interesting it was hilarious but then kind of sad but then you know business is business baby and motherfuckers got to get paid you know we stayed there and it was a late show so it was probably about four in the morning when this went on we stayed till about six in the morning and we collectively escorted him to the bank and he made some phone calls and we got our money and uh, actually a gentleman showed up with a something like something out of a Tarantino film, guy shows up with a briefcase with just a bunch of money, bunch of whatever the currency was, yen, I suppose, I don't know. Needless to say, this kid was absolutely horrified. But we got paid, and that's rock and roll.